Hello, I'm live. Welcome. Let me know about the tea. Got a couple of hauls to share with you. One I picked up just a minute ago and one that I got from Facebook. They're both from Facebook Marketplace. Let me just turn the sound up a little bit. I'm not sure how loud that's going to be. Wait for a few minutes, people pop in. There we go. Lovely. Excellent. Hopefully you're all well. So I've been doing a bit more sourcing online, Facebook Marketplace. Hi Scooby Shaggy, how's the sound quality? Is it okay? Let me know. Wait a few more minutes, people to pop in. Hi Richard, let's know about sound quality. Got some bits and pieces that I picked up Facebook Marketplace. So I've been doing more sourcing online lately because my, oh, cheers Scooby, um, charity shops and car boots haven't been on, obviously. And it might not be on this weekend or uh, Monday, for example. So I thought I'd go online sourcing. As you saw that video I did, last one I did, the bad haul pickup from Facebook. You get the swings of roundabouts where you get good pickups and bad pickups. Let me know if you had any good pickups from Facebook or bad pickups because I like to share both. Let me see who's in. Uh, Gimbal's in, Lisa C, Richard Payne, Antoinette Daly, Scooby Shaggy, Fred Chapman, Welsh Wonder Nia. Thanks for popping in. So I picked up some Only Fools and Horses VHS tapes. They're basically slightly different to the last lot I picked up. That's it, the last lot I picked up. Um, because the last lot I picked up were slightly different, very variation these ones the collector's edition i got 18 um for 10 pound 65 so that's a very good markup for the only fools and horses vhs tapes normally the only fools and horses vhs tapes go for around what um and probably go for around 30 pounds if you've got a good set we should get 30 so i'll just share with you that i uh, see popped in got any questions let me know chris tyler's in as well thanks for popping in glad the sounds okay so this is the first lot one to five one to six here so only fools and horses is a uk based comedy series so you've got Collector's Edition 1, Big Brother, Go West Young Man, Cash and Curry, all in there. Second time round, Slow Bus to Chingford, The Russians Are Coming, Down By. Christmas Crackers, Long Legs of the Law, Ash to Ashes. Good morning, Todd, thanks for popping in. Just showing a few Facebook Marketplace hauls I've picked up um, locally or been delivered. As I've got a video on, on my channel about a bad pickup, but these are the good pickups, so I'd like to share both. Losing Street, um, No Great Love, the, the Yellow Peril, Peril, Del Boy, UK Comedy, number five, I say, you can see, and number six there. There's quite a few, so you've got um, the next lot here. It only goes up from series one to series, start of series six, so missing a fair amount, series seven, and some other specials, but I should be able to get 30 pounds, I paid 10 pounds 65 all in, number seven there, eight, cheers for in Todd, Gary and all that, I suppose, any questions let me know, hole in one, uh, the one with um, without Grandad, because obviously the actor died. Series 5. Let us know your favourite Only Fools and Horses episode. The UK-based comedy. Uh, this one is a selection box. People, uh, 1996. So he likes uh, Ian Wright, ex-footballer. Tony Banks, Sally Gunnell, Jeremy Clarkson, Jack D and others. Picking their favourite trotter moments from 1996, um, from 1981 to 96. 
and then obviously this one there's quite a few there, I paid £10.65 Hi Paul, thanks for popping in, let's put this down there the last lot there there's all together there's um, 18 including this selection box so T for free, video nasty a royal flush quickly go, frog's legacy I will try and pick up VHS tapes um, when I can they're all pretty in good condition Dates, one of my favourite uh, episodes is Dates. From series 6, they went to 50 minutes. So, as you can see, um, uh, this one, they were like half an hour, I think. 10, 20, 30, especially the earlier ones. Um... So you've got like, for example, um, eight, seven minutes uh, approx. So basically the DVDs, if you go for DVDs, they're, um, what's the word? A lot of them, a lot of the episodes are cut to a special period, special um, size. I mean like on the TV, they're cut to a special size. So basically what happens is, is they try and dumb it down because of uh, adverts and stuff like like on UK Gold uh, comedy channel in UK, and most of these have most of the edits in. I couldn't tell you if every single one has, but normally, um, I know like the earlier series. For example, um, what number are we? Oh, for 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 example, this one. They're half an hour each, first series. Um, so you've got, um, yeah, 90, 30, 60, 90, 30 minutes each. So it's 90 in total. So they should be most in there. Let me just go through the um, chat as well. Chris has popped in, cooking Hayden's. Hard pick favourite with Del Boy, indeed. Um, I love dates. Uh, dates, 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 where are we? Dates was a good one. But yeah, it's very hard to pick a favourite episode. Do you remember the one where they thought they killed a budgie? Yeah, it's this one. Um, oh. No, where is it? Um, it rains. Down to the oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, killed killed the budget, yeah. I do remember that one. I uh, just can't remember what it's called now, which, which one it's called. It's got her first episode of Denzel Tulsa, played by Paul Barber. Um, uh, great love. Uh, except, uh, yeah, for real. No, not a restaurant. I'm just trying to go through which one's which. Uh, let's have a look. Sorry, I was reckoned I'm around, Pauline, Russians, it rains, but it pours, da, 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 da. Benidorm, Dresden, Thumbs Up Heather, Homesick, Health Competition, uh, oh, I can't remember now, it's well, one of those, but yeah, it's quite a good episode, I remember that one, um, hi Paul, any questions, let us know. Like in the comments below, let us know. A whole series, yeah, I've got a whole series box set as well. Anyone want to join the Groovy Gang? Yeah, unfortunately I haven't got this one. I missed the latest one. Juppie Love, Danger UXD. Um, 50 Dodgy Dolls, yeah. The Groovy Gang. I've got this Go Fantasy Me, like Bros. Yeah, cracking. So I've got... 18 lots for £10.65. Um, that was sent to me. I try and pay via PayPal um, as I try and um, print off all the PayPal receipts, which I do. I have paid before via a cash only, but I try and pay via PayPal. 
so I can get the receipt. So the next lot I paid by PayPal as well. Let's double check. Darren Hawkins popped in. You're, you're like the next lot, Darren, as you're a West Ham fan. Any questions, let me know. All right, Derek. Yeah, um, yeah, the one you fooled by the door is, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? It is one of these episodes, um, seven, one, two, uh, oh. If one, yuppie love, Derek, yuppie love. Anyway, let's have a look at the chat. Howdy, Malcolm. Yep, it's wet here as well. Join the groovy gang, yeah, dates. Yeah, um, that's like the, like, for, for, for example, dates was the first episode, as you can see here, with Raquel Turner. Um, and more included, Boisty, Marlene, Trigger, Denzel, um, Rodney's friends, that Barbeth guy uh, who's in Casualty now, um, and some of your other people as well. Jevon, if you've seen Series 7 episode where Rodney goes, uh, actually, no, can't think of it. He, he goes dancing in Yuppie Love, Rodney, and Mickey Pierce. Um, and Jevon, they try and chat up Cassandra and her friend. That's right. Anyway, that's the first pickup. Then I, uh, let's have a look. The difference between all VHS and the BBC is they never had ad fitting edits with DVDs, says Gimbal. Um, early ones are okay. BBC releases, like DVDs, are third party licensed, released, and used. Edit. Yeah, there's a lot of different versions of that. That's why I like to get the VHS tapes. This is the collector's edition if you look out for that one. Uh, yeah, Mr. Bean's great as well. So, if you can see here, Mr. Hawkins, I picked up a load of um, old programs, football programs, soccer, if you say, in the US. Um, I went round this morning, a lady lived in Worcester Park, um, a couple of nights ago, not last night, but the night before, I, was it last night, no, it was the night before, sorry, night before last, so on um, Wednesday night, well actually, it was Thursday morning, because it was like one or two in the morning, I kind of looked on Facebook Marketplace, so what I suggest is do half an hour increments Check in your Facebook marketplace, probably two, three times a day if you can. Just have a look around, refresh them, save some bits from sellers or um, areas like games, DVDs, toys, clothes, etc. Then you can be okay. I was only on for half an hour and I picked up a load of these um, old uh, type programs. So a lot of here are West Ham for Hammers. So you've got Hammers. Pat Holland, whoops, I paid for all these um, £10 on PayPal, 1981, West Ham, more hammers, look, all, all these are hammers pretty much, got an Arsenal, boo, the classics, all nice programmes, Neil Orr, look at that, there we go, that's a moustache for you. Moustache. I moustache to ask you to enter, to leave. No. And then you've got likes of um, different ones. I've sold older types before. Um, you've got likes, for example, if you're selling the newer type ones, the last 15 to, to 20 years, and not, not all of them are worth so much. But if you can grab a, a load of older type, depending on which is which, these are all West Ham. So I could go through and try and see how many there are and just go by which is which. For, for example, all you Hammers fans. Super, super Frankie Lampard. Super Frankie Lampard. His father. Frank Lampard Senior. 
Jesus. Francois van der Elst. Wow, it's going back, in it? 1982. Paul Goddard. Tom McAllister. There's just a few. I'll go in the chat. Any questions, let me know. Indeed, Darren, indeed. We've got some more here as well. Yeah, I saw it, Derek. I commented as well. Hi, Chris B. And the reseller kid. You can check back. Well, I picked up a load of only pools and horses, VHS tapes and bees as, as well. I've got more to come. The time. Keep the time on because we're selling ladies to run soon. Arsenal. So you've got Pat Rice, uh, uh, Paul Rice, Mickey ha Mike Hazard, Tottenham, Ricardo Villa, Garth Crooks, Glenn Hoddle. You've got more. So you've got, got plenty here. Arsenal, again. All from like 80s, for example. Actually, I don't think of it. No, this one, 80. Oh yeah, 80s, yeah. Because it's Frank Lampard Senior. Keep forgetting he's Senior. Another Arsenal. So what I'll go and do is have a look to see if I um, will sell them individually, like teams, or just the whole lot. I might just do, do, do the whole lot, you know. Tottenham Hotspurs, if I have to sell it. <laughs> As a Chelsea fan, I don't like Tottenham Hotspurs. I'm looking at the chat. you got questions, let me know. If you sold old programmes, this is a great one to have. Um, if you've got the Bill Nicholson OBE... Testimonial football, which is soccer in, in the US. Um, 19. It began in 65. I'm not sure when this was, but Bill Nicholson testimonial. I was surprised what this lady had because we messaged. I right, Julie, thanks for popping in. And she left it out um, outside in a um, recycling box. Um, luckily, it's, I just got back half an hour ago, before it started raining. Um, North Tottenham Hotspurs, the, the White Hart Lane, now they've gone to the Wembley. I miss the White Hart Lane, because Chelsea used to beat them every single week, pretty much, for many, many years, 20 odd years. All hands wanderers. If you're interested in any of this stuff, let me know via my Facebook page or the comments below. We'll so get it sorted out. More Tottenham, Hotspurs, um, Got a load more Tottenham. So I've got a fair amount to do different listings with Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham. So on these programmes, right, you look out for, if they're signed, none of these are signed, but if you look out for signed programmes and if you're going to have a look at what um, players are in which team. So, for example, this one here is, you've got Glenn Hoddle which is a good one to have. If this is a team where they played Bayern Munich and won the Cup, European Cup, um, 1982, Bayern Munich, from Tottenham Hotspurs. So you look out for different types of um, books, different ones. You've got Liverpool, you've got the Kenny Dalglish, Ian Rush, Sammy Lee, Graham Souness, for example. I mean, this is where the men were men, Shorts were shorts, and they tackled like anything. Oldest, okay, old Newcastle United programmes of my room looking like a man cave. That's fair enough. I've got um, programmes from the 90s. I'm from Chelsea. I'm a Chelsea FC fan. So 90s, um, all the way to about 2002, three season, I think. I've got programmes like these. I've got um, sticker albums, books, anything collectible. I love the Chelsea FC back in the 90s and early 2000s. So you like more. So they are just basically the same one. So you can have doubles. I'm really happy with that actually pick up because it makes a really good, um, makes your mind sort of, what's the word? It freshes your mind. I haven't got any Newcastle United, unfortunately. The Amers. Um, Manchester City, b b before the money. Versus West Ham. So, it I looks like the lady, she lived in Worcester Park. That's a 15 minute drive from um, my house. Um, I went for a lot of roadworks, Worcester Park. But... 
Um, looks like she was a West Ham fan. I should, in theory, um, be able to get quite a bit of money. I've got to look up individually each one and go through a pricing structure. Uh, no, they're too expensive at the moment, um, reseller kid. Basically, I haven't been to see Chelsea in a long time. I've seen Middlesbrough li um, live in their old stadium. Not their new one, their late later one, but their older one. Um, I've seen the Hartlepool Stadium. Chelsea, obviously, I've been past there and in there. Um, the Fairmount Stadium, I've seen Carlisle as well. No, I've not been for years. I just don't, like, could afford it, really, with that sort of thing. No, I've got one. Sky Blues. Um, just remember that a lot of them are, have the same name as some of the others, which, which I'll share with you as well. This is West Ham United. Here's Sunderland. This is West Ham. So, so basically, this lady was a West Ham fan, I can, I can imagine. Um, 1980, uh, or seven, I don't know. I'm not sure when that one was, but that was a must. So what I will do with these is I will leave them in our conservatory uh, for a day or two and um, make sure they get all their must out of it because that's okay. And then I'll work through them over the weekend. Uh, the Swan, Twenty City. Again, West Ham. How would you imagine Darren Hawkins is having a, a good day, isn't he? West Ham fan. What's your favourite West Ham player? Frank Lampard, senior. Oh, look, Shrewsbury Town versus West Ham United. Ha, ha, ha. Have a laugh. Frank Lampard, Billy Bonds, David Cross, Trevor Booking, Sir Trevor Booking, but it's Trevor Booking, Phil Parks, Ray Stewart, Jeff Pike, West Ham United, wow. Um, wow, it's a good decent price for my age, about £200. Let us know if you've got any um, questions, the question what it is. I've got a lo lot, sorry. I am. I've got a loft full of our uh, programmes. Nice one. Brighton Hope Albion versus West Ham United. <laughs> Only when they had 12 people on the pitch. Any questions? Oh, look. Leeds United versus West Ham United. Ha, 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 ha. That's not Magpies in Newcastle, it's um, Notts County versus West Ham United. This lady was a West Ham fan, I can guarantee. Because I saw them on, on Facebook Marketplace. I spent half an hour checking it all out. Um, yeah, a couple of nights ago, because I fell asleep with my phone in my hand. I messaged a couple of people and she came back the next day. So, yeah. Well, that reminds me, I've got one other thing to tell you in a sec. Um, Manchester United versus... Oh, 19... Dad Darren, West Ham! <laughs> Man U versus West Ham. 1981-82. Oh, look, Aston Villa versus West Ham. It's not a cliche anymore. Not a cliche at all. Any questions, let me know. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit loud. Um, I'm not sure how the sound is. Forest versus West Ham. Ha ha ha. Who you got here? You got um, Billy Bonds, Lampard, Stewart, Phil Parks. Oh God, more. Yeah, it's good though because you you check out what, what player is is which there. So, for, for example, if you're looking at West Ham, you go for Trevor Brookin, Trevor Brookin so, um, Frank Lampard, Phil Parks, for example. And you check the, the quality and what year it is. Oh, um, yeah, there we go. Welsh Wonder. Andrew Nolan, Rex Messi. 
Di Davis, Alan Hill, Jerry Jones, Ian Edwards, Les Cartwright. 1981. Southampton vs West Ham United. Basically, his lady was a West Ham fan. West Ham are um, East London. They used to have a stadium but b before they um, moved. Yeah, they're £3. Yeah, look. It's, it's 80 way before your time. 35p originally there. It was when men were men, shorts were long, tackles were in straight away. Stoke City versus West Ham United and Rico Arena. Stoke's old ground. Um, Francois van der List. Paul Burchill. Alan Dodd. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. Oh, look. It's which versus West Ham when the hair were hair, the men were men. Uh, just a few more now. Yeah, yeah. I think, didn't Joey Jones play for Chelsea? I think, for a little bit. I'm, I'm sure he did. Shame there's no Chelsea FC there. Maybe she's a West Ham fan, so she just doesn't like Chelsea. Shame. I might have kept them. The Hammers official sponsor. So if you like any of these, let me know on my Facebook page. It's in the, it it, it will, will be in the description below when I edit it. You can check out the other videos in the description below. Or Miss Me Here, or... Whatever else. Or private message me via Peter Ray on Facebook. Uh, that is the official 1984 official programme. League One. 50p versus Arsenal. Um, no, sorry. E Everton, sorry. Alchemy. You've got Peter Reid, Graham Sharp, Andy Gray. Uh, Peter Hilton, Trevor Brookings, Steve Witten. Just, just a few more. West Ham again versus Norwich City. 85, going up a little bit. Versus Liverpool as well. So yeah, got quite a few West Ham programmes there. Quite a few. But happy with all this for £10. So I should make a lot more. Because some of these, they might be individually worth listing so when you've got a load of programs like this go through individually i know that it may take a long 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 um long time to do but make sure you've got time no distractions just, just go through quickly and see which is which it might take a while because none of these have got barcodes on the back so just go through you can find a similar thing. It's okay, all the West Hammers. So yeah, stuck in that. Happy with that one. To read any chat. Long shorts going a bit far, a bit ready. 1980s. Um, if, you, if you see the shorts, so gimbal they wear now, they're quite, sh um, a, 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 a well, long enough, I suppose, if, if you know what I mean. If they're long now, um, longer now is if you can see here, um, 1982, it's still got a fair amount of long. I know in the 70s and 60s they had um, short shorts, so yeah. So if you're gonna do that with these, um, they've got barcodes, just go through the barcode on the eBay scanner and then check them out, or on totally go to the collector's edition. And see how much they are. It's always good to go onto Facebook Marketplace just quickly, for half an hour increments at a time. Just just go through, double check what's what. See if you've got any saved searches, so you can save, for example, if you're on the PC or on the app on the phone, you can save searches for the whatever you like, clothing, games, toys, um, whatever else. And then it comes up when you go through. I've got local selling sites as well. So they come up on the marketplace as well. There's also an Epsom Newell Freebay. So that's come up in the last week or so. Free stuff online, so I'm checking that as well. 
Uh, it's always good. Make sure you try and pay PayPal if you can. Um, so you can get a, like a receipt of PayPal for your um, uh, bills and um, taxes and all that. But if you have to pay cash, which I had to do sometimes, then it's is what it is, but make sure you mark it down what you've got price wise you paid on your um however you do your um spreadsheets. Matt's car boot disc, thanks for popping in. West Ham won the FA Cup in nineteen eighty. Any programmes from that run might be worth more. Oh okay. Yeah it's a good thing actually. 82, 81, is it? 79 to 80, um, Matt. Or is it 80 to 80? It might be 79 to 80, so I'll have a look. 80, 81, 82, um, 82, 82. These are all a couple of years out. 81, 82. So I'll go through quickly. 82, 81, 81, 82, 82, um, I'll have a look though, um, Matt, thanks, th thanks for that, 81, I think I did, did see one in there somewhere, let's have a look in the chat, hey Aid, thanks for popping in, and Alan Starbuck, thanks for popping in, Alan, you can watch us all back, a couple more bits to, to, uh, to say before the ladies are live, to quickly go through. No, I can't see any at the moment. Um, but I will have a look through. Cheers, um, Matt. Appreciate that. Frankie, Frankie Lampard, Mick, Mick, Mick McGiven, all going into management and stuff. Same with um, Frank Lampard Jr., Chelsea boss. So, tonight, Andrew has got drinking with Andrew, he's put a poll up on the Money Mental Facebook page, do check it out, um, vote for who you like, it's vote for your favourite YouTuber, I was about fifth I think on 16 votes, do get voting, I have plenty of videos to come over the next week or so, I've got a couple of day vlogs, one from this week and one from last week to edit. I'll try and get up a sales update soon. Um, I've got some outside vlogs, normally same related to share with you. If you like this haul, let me know in comments below. I'll see you on uh, Drinking With Andrew tonight. I should be on there from about nine, 20 past nine, with my new mic, a few drinks and a bit of banter. So do go and check it out. I did see Denise has popped in. That's popular in Denise. I've just shown some programs from Facebook. So these ones, for people popped in late, £10 I paid on um, PayPal. A lady locally in Worcester Park from me, 15 minute drive. And I picked up 18 of these Only Fools Collector's Edition um, VHS tapes, £10.65 on uh, Facebook Marketplace, all Facebook Marketplace, paid via PayPal. These lot were shipped to me. And these I went and um, collected. Oh, no worries, Alan. That's fine. It happens, mate. Hopefully you've got some good sales there. Got to go and do some more eBay. Yeah. Are you going to be on tonight, Derek? Get your butt on there tonight. Also, keep an eye out for any autographs. It was much easier to get players to sign programmes. I couldn't see any, but what I'll do, Matt, is go through each, each one and double-check to see if there's an autograph. Alan Sunderland? Look at that hair. Any of you had hair like that? <laughs> curly, curly top. Yeah, I will do. Cheers, Matt. Appreciate that. So do check out Dream Film with Andrew tonight. Do give me a comment down below. All it leaves me to say is like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Keep your notifications set for more videos. <clears throat> and I'll um, speak to you soon. Thanks for popping in, guys. Take care. See you later on.